Hello and welcome to PushMyRepair.com. Today we're going to show you how to completely disassemble a Victor engine, uh, leaving it to a bare block so you can service and replace any parts you may need. The parts you're going to need for this video is a hammer, a small block of wood, an anvil or something similar, a Phillips head screwdriver, a 12 or 13 mil socket, uh, a rag, and something to undo the crank pin, either the Victor genuine tool or a tool that you've made yourself. We're going to start by removing the carburetor manifold here. What we're going to do is just undo the two Phillips head screws that hold it on. Once those are removed, the manifold should come off. Next, we're going to remove the decompressor. This can be done, usually it's a 20 or a 21 mil socket. You just put it on there. I mean spanner. It can sometimes be a bit stiff, but generally it's not too bad. Once it's loosened, you can just spin it off. Okay, next we're going to remove the cylinder head and place a rag inside to stop the piston moving so we can undo the crank pin. And to start doing that, we're going to pull off the spark plug boot and undo the four bolts. Once the head's off, you want to gently push the piston down and then get a, a rag or some paper towel. A rag usually works a bit better. And you want to fold it up and push it into the bore. Then you want to put the head back on of the bolts in and just loosely tighten them up. This allows you to turn the crank pin without the crank turning. Helps you remove the piston easily. Once those bolts are in we're going to undo the starter housing. Now we're going to undo the starter housing. There's just these three bolts. They're usually 12 mil. Sometimes 13 on older Victors. Once the bolts are loose, it should pop off. And now we can see here the crank pin that we need to undo. Uh, this can be done either with Victor's special tool by hitting it with a screwdriver in a video I will link or by creating your own tool which we'll use now. So once you've got your tool just gently twist until the crank pin loosens. Sometimes they can be very stiff. A bit of WD-40 and some gentle banging with a hammer may loosen them off if you're struggling to undo them. Here we go, crank pin's out. Now we remove the cylinder head again by just loosening those bolts we put in before and we remove the rag and this gives us access to the piston and conrod. So we remove the head, remove the rag, and if we gently push the piston from the crankcase, you'll see it should start to come out the bore. So 
sometimes you might have to rotate the bottom of the crankshaft out of the way. And there you go, we've got the piston out, complete with Conrad. If you need more details on this, we can show you how to replace the piston in another video. Next we're going to remove the electrical components. Here's the ground for the electric start. It's just simply a wire with a Phillips head screw if you want to remove that. And then here's the condenser for the electrical system. So we can just undo the Phillips head screw here. And that comes off. And then in order to remove it properly we need to unplug it and have all these wires free so they can come down through here it's a little trickier with the electric start model as there's more wires once we've got the wires out of the hole you can rotate the mower and you can pull them gently off the ignition coil and put them somewhere safe Next, if you need to remove your ignition coil, you simply undo these two 12mm bolts. Be mindful not to lose the washers under them. And there's the ignition coil, which you can now store as well. Now all that's left is probably the hardest part, is getting off this boss removing the flywheel and getting access to the main bearings. Okay, in order to remove the boss what you're going to need is an anvil or the back of a vise or something very solid that you can hit the boss against. Then if you'll notice there's a small hole in one side of the boss you're going to want to fill that with WD-40 so it can all lubricate it, make it easier. And what you're going to do is get the engine, place the boss on the anvil and then hit it with a hammer and hopefully the boss will pop off. And we're going to do that now. Uh, the other way you can do it is with a flywheel puller but it's very difficult to find any pullers that can fit in the small gap between the boss and the flywheel. And I've seen it actually break the flywheel instead of the puller, puller pulling the boss off. So when you're ready what you want to do is hold the engine sideways on the anvil and you want to hit it and then rotate and as you hit it you might feel it start to loosen and eventually it should pop off just like that very easy and nothing here is damaged by far the best way to do it Next you want to rest the engine upside down on a block of wood and then you want to get uh, your hammer and you want to find a small block something like this and you want to put it on top and then hammer it down and that will hammer the crank shaft out allowing you to remove the flywheel and the bearings. After a bit of persuasion with the wooden hammer, the shafts will pop out, allowing you to simply remove the flywheel. And there you go, the flywheel's all gone, removed. And then we should be able to just lift the engine up. And there we have the crankshaft remaining with one of the main bearings. And if we flip it over, we'll see there's another bearing. inside the shaft still at the bottom and we'll show you how to remove that next. Here's another quick view of that bearing. This bearing is also a seal that seals the crankcase from the bottom. Once you've lubricated the bearing you'll want to place the motor on two bits of wood like so with the bearing shaft exposed and off the ground. For us we're going to be using a small piece of wood and a tie lever. I'm just going to simply give it a tap. Okay, here's the last bearing. And now all that we've got left here is an empty block with no parts at all. The Victor is completely stripped down 
you should be able to take off any part you require now and rebuild any part that you require. We hope this video has been helpful.